Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is a timeless reading for yourselves. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cleanse on your cards. I have done that beforehand also, but I want to cleanse the aura and the energies of the cards again. Um, as is going to be a uh, bring a lot of nice positivity and no negativity or anything um, during your reading. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do uh, your tarot cards for you to see what's in store and what's um, coming up for you. Okay then. So the first card that I've come out for you then is the King of Swords. So this is um, Aquarius, Gemini and a Libra zodiac sign this is the energies that's going to be coming in for you so there is a mature male that is coming in for you there is some sense of an authority figure so maybe someone that's to do with law or in the justice system this person is very honest very truthful they have a lot of morals and communication skills as well they think very logically they think that mind over matter always comes first. They are very unbiased. They can be a bit stern when they want to be. And there is a sense of some type of objectiveness that's coming in also. They do bring fairness and justice into the system as well. So this could be someone that is linked with the law, um, some type of legal matters, or something to do with the courtroom if you go into court for some type of ruling. Um... If this is just a normal person that's coming in towards you, this person is going to be, um, they can be a controlling type of person, um, but this is about seeking some type of punishment and some type of scrutiny that may be involved. There is clarity that's coming in as well, or along with ideas. So there may be someone that's coming in for you that is an advisor, um, someone that could be a surgeon, uh, or a judge, or a bachelor. Or it could be someone from education um, department. This person may be linked to writing and reading and they have a lot of quietness about them. Okay then, so the next card we have then is the chariot card. So the chariot card is um, a cancer zodiac sign which is all to do with water. So there is someone that's coming in that is very determined, very strong-willed. Um, very disciplined there is some sense of victory and success that is coming in for you also there may be some type of traveling on the cards for you and you may be coming into contact with a new car or some car issues um, coming in for some of you there may be you going to be moving in a new direction or you're going to be moving um, a different place or home there is someone that is coming in that is very successful and they have a lot of strong ability about them. And this is about overcoming some type of obstacles that's in the way and difficulties. Someone is going to be hiding behind a mask and needing to control some type of emotions during this time. You then have the reverse Seven of Swords which is an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, A Zodiac signs. So someone is going to be thinking very logically at this time that is adapting to change, that is plotting and planning at work as well. Someone may be doing some type of mind games and using some tactics and having some type of daring behaviour around this time also. For some of you, there may be someone that is seeking a little bit... Um, in the danger headset, um, doing some type of risk taking and running away. For others, this is a sense of um, running away and not looking where you're going um, and not realising what path you're going to be going down. Uh, then there is a sense of someone that is going to be a bit cunning and a bit sneaky at this time. There may be some type of infidelity that is at play here or theft or deceit or some spying enemy you have the reverse king of pentacles there next which is a taurus virgo capricorn earth signs this is the energy that's coming in so this is about something that's going to be very unsuccessful at this time this could be to do with a financial loss or some type of insecurities 
there may be an unsuccessful businessman at play here. There's bankruptcy or risk taken. Someone may be a gambler or money mad. Someone may also be like a money grabber or like obsessed with money or likes to overspend. There may be some debts that's involved here as well. Someone is going to come out and say that they are broke. They are going to be a bit impatient at this time and have a lot of poor judgments. Someone may be doing a bit of shoddy work that may be doing something on your property or some way that you're going to and you find that they've done something shoddy. Um, there is someone that may be a little bit of a briber and involved in some type of corruption. There may be also someone that is a loan shark, someone that is very angry and very cold and ruthless, but also there's a lot of detachment and a lot of jealousy and a lot of possessiveness with this person. Someone is a bit lazy, but this person could be a little obese to look at. They may be involved in some type of animal abuse or neglect or some type of environmental abuse. Next card then you have is the full card with all A signs, so it's Gemini, Libra and Aquarius signs. So there is going to be a new beginning coming in for you, um, a new rebirth. There is a lot of renewal and trust in your own intuition. There is faith and freedom that's coming in as well. Someone is going to be very, very um, unique in the way they are or you are going to do something very unique. There is risk taking and opportunities that's come in, in as a surprise for you. You are going to be open to some change and there is a leap of faith coming in. You are going to have a lot of confidence at this time as well. So you're going to be doing something that is like in the heat of the moment, you know, spirit of the moment type of thing. There is taking a chance on something or someone and following your own instincts. You are going to be a bit fearless at this time as well. Um, there is a lot of enthusiasm with someone that's coming in that has a lot of positivity as well, along with optimism. There may be some travelling on the cards as well for you or this person or a journey. Someone is going to be a bit carefree at this time as well and there is a lot of excitement that is going to be coming in as well. There is a sense of purity coming in and someone that is younger than yourself that you're going to be coming in to contact with and they may be linked some miracles may be coming in also okay you then have the six of pentacles so taurus capricorn virgo uh earth signs so you may be getting hired by someone or you're going to take someone on i'm sensing for some of you you may be taking on someone else's child um there is some type of employment coming in for some of you as well some type of social welfare and charity work um, for some of you, you're going to be sharing a business or sharing something in general. There is a lot of kindness and generosity coming in and some gifts. Um, someone is going to come in uh, as an assistant also to this and they're going to help support you, um, help you with your money, try and help you out how to deal with your finances as well. There may be some handouts and some donations that's coming in as well. Um, there is a get together for some type of community and there's people that is not going to be judgmental at all. There may be a sponsorship coming in for you and some type of investors coming in. For some of you, you may be coming into some type of lottery win or a windfall or some type of inheritance of that nature. Um, others of you, you may be a teacher or a student or coming into contact with this person. There is some type of loans that some of you may be coming into as well. And there is a payday that is coming up that is going to be of success as well. You will be getting back on your feet eventually. And others of you, you may be a little bit needy or doing some type of groveling. Or this is the energy that you're going to be around um, a person that is constantly needy. Reverse Seven of Pentacles then. This is a Taurus, Capcom, Virgo earth signs that you may be going to be around at this time so this is about um cashing in some investments for some of you um there may be a little bit of a bad business management going on as well there, there is a lot of laziness and some type of cash flow issues as well 
there's some type of cutbacks for some of you that is um, a lot of mountain of debts that needs to be um, sorted and there may be some change of plans or no plans at all which is going to make you feel a bit overwhelmed at this time you then have the two of cups so this is about um, love as well so it's about someone that's coming in with a love offer there is a lot of peace and contentment with two people coming together um, this is like a joining of a contentment to do with either putting um, bygones be bygones or coming together as one uh, there may be a proposal or some type of love offer that is in the works also. Okay, then you have the Hermit card then, which is about um, feeling very lonely, feeling very unattached at this time, feeling that, you know, you don't know what to do. There is a sense of um, needing a lot of time on your own at the moment, but... You want to try and withdraw from all the negative people. So you want to spend a lot of time on your own away from all these people that may be a bad influence on you or there is someone that is not of a good um, character that you're going to be around that you need to move your energy away from that for the time being. You then have the Eight of Cups, which is the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Water Signs. So there is something where things are going to be finished and over and done with. Walking away from a situation or a person or this person is walking away from you. There is a sense of moving on and letting go and having the feeling that you've had enough, you know, turning your back and knowing that things are not, um, can't be done, you know, no more can be done. But there is going to be um, an end of a cycle for you and this may bring in some type of wake up call. There is a lot of soul searching for some of you and finding yourself finally. Um, there is some personal truths that may be coming out for some of you as well and there is a deeper meaning as well and looking for some type of answers and facing some facts that have come about recently for you. Um, there may be some type of loss of interest for some of you in a certain job or um, a hobby. Uh, something is going to be missing you feel like something is missing from you you feel it is a void something that you need um back that is missing from you um, and this is making you feel like you know you're no longer in it anymore you feel very empty you feel very lonely um and also you feel like you're going to leave any emotional baggages right behind you know you will be leaving a bad situation and looking to search for some type of happiness and there will be healing, there will be a sense of abandonment as well. But for others of you, there is a sense of separation um, and feeling very drained with everything that you've been tied down with. You may be feeling a bit weary at this time as well and it very exhausted and you know fatigued, but you will be taking a break. You may also be going traveling as well. And there is a sense of being a bit shy if you come in contact with someone as well and feeling a bit timid, you know, just for a temporary um, time being reversed wheel of fortune so you have fixed signs which is aquarius scorpio taurus and leo so you feel like this time is going to be a bit of bad luck for you you feel like you're cursed you feel like nothing's going your way um so basically it's going to be a time where you feel like it's not a good time to start a new business nor start a new project nor start to have a new baby Something that you feel like is not a good time for anything new as of yet. For others of you, there is some type of relationship or situation that has finally come to an end where it has fizzled out. Um, and this could lead to some type of struggles and delays and setbacks um, in your situation that you're going to be going through. For others of you, there is something about the past that is coming back to haunt you, so to speak. You know and you will be learning your lessons from this and you will feel a bit worn out but you are actually learning from the past you're learning from them um learning curves that you've gone through okay with the fourth cups then this is pisces cancer scorpio water signs so you are going to feel a little bit bored around this time because things are going um, a bit chaotic as you can tell within the 
the reading. So there is a sense of being disinterested in a love offer or a situation or an opportunity that the universe is coming out to give to you. You will be feeling a bit detached. Meditation will be really good for this time as well. Um, but you are going to be feeling very tired, very fatigued, very withdrawn, a bit depressed and unaware of certain things. So some of you, I'm getting that you will be forgetting what day it is of the week, um, and what date and things like that. So you're going to be feeling a bit um, out of it for this time. There may be a bit of a missed opportunity coming in for some of you and a sense of fantasizing and daydreaming or just too hangover around this time okay you have the nine of wands then so this is aries leo sagittarius fire zodiac signs so, so some of you you may feel like you are actually either at war with yourself or you're at war with someone um because there is a sense that you will be feeling a bit anxious feeling that you've got your guard up you may have been wounded at this time as well but you are actually on the lockout um, you may be expecting for trouble or you expecting something bad to happen. So that's why you're going to be having your guard up a lot at this time. Um, so basically you're like on duty, but there's a lot of patience that you are going to be needing at this time as well. You are going to be having a lot of courage and strength at this time. Be very determined, you know, to keep yourself safe and people around you also. Um, but there is a sense that um, you are going to be very defensive and going into that protection type of mode um, mindset, so to speak, as well. Um, but there is, for some of you, you are going to be trying to fight your own corner in a certain situation, like with the court case um, or some type of legal matters. You are going to be trying to fight in your corner or someone's coming in to fight in your corner. Um, and this could be making you have a lot of enemies or you feel like you've got a lot of enemies so you need to take charge of a certain situation but you are going to be feeling that you have a lot of challenges um coming in there may be the feeling of standing alone or for others you may be fighting a certain cause so i'm sensitive for some of you or maybe if it's just one person you are fighting for something like custody or you're fighting for justice to do with a certain situation. For others, there is a sense of isolation and needing, well, not needing, yeah, you need to back up from a certain situation, you know, you need to um, back away from it a bit to see, you know, get out of the situation to see what it actually is, like, so to speak. So step out of the situation and you start seeing more clearly um, about things. Uh, there is to be some type of um, paranoia and having a lot of suspicion over something or someone as well because there is a lot of burdens and a lot of responsibility that you are going to be taking on. Um, it is a sense that some of you, you may be involved with a, a soldier, someone that is out, actually um, out and they may be coming back to you that's a soldier or someone that is a bodyguard or you work as a bodyguard. You then have the Empress, which is about um, a mother figure. So either you're currently um, pregnant or you're going with someone that is pregnant. So this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Earth sign that's coming in. So someone that has a lot of natural um, beauty about them. Someone that has a lot of growth. There is a manifestation that is coming in also. There is a strong sense of abundance and prosperity and a strong commitment in love. Um, there is unconditional love that is coming out from this person also. And emotional security and being very protective at this time. There is some generosity and harmony also with a lot of peace and caring coming in as well. This person is very nurturing. They are very, very compassionate. Like I said in, in your, you know, this is about fertility and pregnancy. So some of you may be um, just giving birth or you just finding out that you're pregnant. Um, but for others of you, there may be a sense that you may be going in to do some garden work or you work in the countryside or you move into a countryside. Others of you, you may be going through some type of um, decorating your own home or decorating someone's home. Um, a lover of animals and love of the environment as well also. 
I'm seeing that this person or yourself is into art or theatre work or into a lot of good music. Um, maybe a dancer that has a lot of children or got children on the way. Um, or work with the children. Um, or for others, they may be a natural type of witch, like into witchcraft and things of that good, that good sense of things. Um, we then have the reversed eight of pentacles then. So with the reversed eight of pentacles, this is all about um, not, uh, not succeeding enough in a certain situation. Um, yeah, not succeeding is, you know, a lack of commitment towards a business, towards a job, towards um, a relationship. You know, there, there is a sense of being disinterested and not doing any efforts to to get anything out of it, to gain anything out of anything. But for some of you, I'm getting there is a sense of a failure. So it could be a failure of a marriage or failure of a relationship that may be coming in. Someone may have done a botched job. So I just had the vision of someone done like like Botox or something of that nature that has been a bit botched, but this could be to do with just work, um, like shoddy work, sort of, like something was cheap and turned out to be very bad, very unprofessional. You may be coming into contact with someone that has a bad reputation, someone that not have um, no qualifications, someone that's poorly trained or they don't have any work, so basically like um, on the dole, so to speak, as, um, as they say. Uh, for others of you, you may, either you or this other person is looking to do some shortcuts to get things done quicker, they're doing shortcuts and this is where there is that risk taken and things not going the way it should be. Then there is a sense of all work and no play as well, which is, you know, taking on too much for some of you or this could be to do with someone being very lazy, very careless, um, like scamming people or likes to overspend. But there is a lot of debts that I got that is coming through with this also. Okay, so we have then the Ace of Cups. Okay, reverse Ace of Cups, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water signs. So there is going to be an unhappy time for someone. They may be because of an unrequited love that's coming in. Someone that is very disappointed in a love situation, so maybe in the love situation that you're in, that is very, um, very disappointed. There's um, a lot of sadness, a lot of pain, a lot of upsets. There may be a loss of a relationship or a loss of a child. Um, there may be a breakup or overindulging in something. And again, there may be a bit of depression or a lack of commitment also. For others, there's a sense of infertility or miscarriage that is coming up in you as well. Some type of upsetting news for some of you um, and feeling very emotionally drained and spiritually and physically disconnected from your own self. The last card then is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So this is yourselves, um, Earth sign. So there is eventually going to be success coming in your path. Um, something is going to be better than expected because there's prosperity and wealth um, and securing your future. There may be a business that's going to be thriving and a little family unit that's going to be thriving also. There is um, abundance and a luxury and looking after yourself, being very um, content, feeling at your own comfort. There may be a property or a land that you may be coming, um, may be getting as in, you know, like to move or you put in a lot of deposit down to move to this place. There is a lot of self-control that is going through you as well and some type of self-sacrifice as well to get where you want to be. There is a sense of accomplishments and a lot of freedom as well that's coming in you and someone that is going to be very mature, that have that mature maturity. And there's also the sense of pregnancy and birth and security and protection with this card. So I'm sensing for some of you, you may be having had a miscarriage and then you're going to have your miracle baby. So I'm sensing that very strongly, at least for one of you. So some of you may have lost a child and thought that you would never have children again. And then, woof, 
your miracle comes through for you and you actually fall pregnant okay then virgo that is your reading i hope you can all resonate to some extent please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and i see you again soon bye